Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So glad you guys are here with us. So there's so much things to tell you guys. Well, one is a lot of people, well not a lot of people, but certain people are asking me what happened to the first ABA therapist. And I'm not gonna go in a bunch of details. Uh, just gonna leave it as there was a big uh, misunderstanding and I made the right decision to not continue just because I didn't feel like they took my feelings into consideration and I just don't have time with people that um, don't have a way to talk or communicate. So I just did what I had to do for me and for Brandon, especially for Brandon, for the best for Brandon. And I went a different route and I'm glad I did because we're gonna be in a different service with Somebody else that's been in uh, Brandon's life that has worked with him. He was a little bit more younger, more like smaller and everything. So it's going to be different, but it's going to go well because the way she explained the service that we are going to be uh, having, I just can't wait. It sounds exciting. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm not going to bash. I'm not going to say much about the other service. Uh, the girl was a good therapist. Um, she did her thing. She did what she had to do I'm happy but uh yeah I just had to make a decision where I'm gonna not continue working with people that um don't know how to communicate correctly so that happened and then the other thing is that yesterday we had a minor setback with Brandon and uh when I what I mean is he, uh, I'm not sure if it was accidental, accident, an accident, I mean, or intentionally that he did it, but, uh, he peed on himself. And, um, that's, that's something that never happens. He has incidents that have occurred while he was, uh, in the restroom. I mean, uh, he's still a kid, he's still learning. Uh, so there's going to be little things that it's going to be messy. But not dramatically, but you know, boys are gonna be boys, and we all know how some uh, boys are. Certain boys, I'm not gonna say, oh, every kid is like that. But anyways, guys. So again, he had incidents, and um, that's okay, cause there were like minor incidents. But yesterday, what happened was that he kept peeing on himself. And I don't know why. Again, Brandon is nonverbal. He doesn't really know how to explain himself. He does know basic sign language, but uh, he can't really connect senses as of now together. Um, so I don't know what was going through his little head, but as of now, the room is not available for him because he kept doing that in the room. So the room is not available for him. Um, and here I go. I'm restarting the potty training. It's not like the first time, but I'm here asking him every little five to 10 minutes potty time. Um, always telling him, listen to your body. Brandon, do you need a potty? If he still doesn't need a potty, I still sit him down. Not the, not a lot like how I first started, but I still sit him down. So he knows that what he did yesterday was not okay and there's gonna be consequences. So yesterday also what we did with his dad, cause the third time he did it, his dad was here. And I don't know if you guys remember, he had balloons in the background. They were from his birthday. Uh, they were already deflating, they were already on the floor, but for Brandon, that's good enough for him. So um, we ended up getting rid of all the balloons. There are certain balloons here, but we got rid of his other balloons we got rid of items that he likes. We put it away. We got we put away his iPad for the whole night. We put away uh, his toys that he likes to play with when he's not playing with his iPad, and we just put it away. And we let him let him know that you know what he did was not okay. So he did not like it, of course. He threw a fit, but he can't do that. So we stopped it right away. So uh, that's what happened yesterday. He is picking up certain things. I don't know why. I don't know how. Where has he seen it? He's just probably, probably the feeling he's getting out of it or 
something that think, he thinks is okay. Um, I'm also correcting him. He can't do that. Um, I'm a little bit stricter with him. So he does stop sometimes, but there's times where he's doing it again. Uh, it's hard, you guys. It's a rough journey. I mean, like, again, we never had potty issues. Like, he was doing excellent. I don't know what happened yesterday. I don't know why he thought it was okay to do it three times. Um, the third time is not an incident, so I know it wasn't an accident. Maybe the first time it was. The second time, I don't know. But to me, it was he was probably doing it just because he probably liked, that, or liked the feeling. I don't know, you guys. I mean, uh, it's hard. It's hard to um, get, a, get, get into what's going on in their little head um but yeah guys it's it's a long it's a it's a rough journey like i said there's gonna be days where uh it's gonna be smooth sailing there's gonna be days where it's gonna be a little bit bumpy there's gonna be days where it's gonna be rough it's an emotional roller coaster so i mean it's something that you know we have to stay strong because nobody else will be there for them and we can't just throw the towel just because they had a little minor setback. We just gotta be continue, staying strong, uh, fixing the problem, problem helping them, uh, making them understand, uh, just having patience with them, listening. And again, like I said, I don't push certain things into other people's life, but to me, um, even if it's basic ASL, it's helpful you guys brandon uh knows certain little words here and there but they're not clear so i do i have learned the sign language and i present it to him that way when he's requesting something or he's asking something i know what he's talking about that way we're not there with the guessing game but what do you want and and both of us are frustrated and then that's with the meltdown meltdowns and the tantrum comes and that's not a way to, like that's not a good way uh it's gonna be rougher because he's gonna be screaming she's gonna be yelling or they're gonna you know have their uh big meltdowns and big tantrums and it's gonna be rough on both of you guys so like i said i don't like to push certain things on families or anybody but to me asl is the best thing again basic uh asl is fun it's easy it's just a way to communicate with each other. Um, it's great, you guys. It's it's very helpful. So I do encourage you guys to do the ASL. Um, again, uh, it's up to you guys. I don't want to be all oh, you have to. You're going to have to. Nothing like that. It's up to you guys. Uh, but for me, it has worked. It has worked wonderfully for Brandon. And it's very, very helpful. But yeah, guys, I mean, it's a minor setback. It's, uh, it is uh, overwhelming at times. Um, I have my house really like upside down right now. I'm washing, I'm cleaning, I'm organizing, and just trying to keep Brandon at the same routines and schedule. Having him still doing what he's supposed to do, it's hard. Because sometimes you could turn your back and he's doing, they're doing something that you're like, no, no you can't do that and it's just like it's very overwhelming like i said so i mean it's hard i i'm not gonna sit here and be like no it's not it is hard but guys it's gonna it's gonna be well you just have to have patience and um i know we went into a little mini vacation sorry i couldn't record it's just that it was family and it was a little celebration for me and for somebody else and um i couldn't really vlog and I didn't want to like um, put ca my camera and start asking questions or, or you know, doing what I do when I'm with Brandon. So I just didn't feel oh, like it was okay at that in that situation. But it was fun, you guys. The only thing, the other, the other thing is that I'm doing something else. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I'm still working on it, figuring it out, figuring it out. But once I do have something going on. I will let you guys know and we'll see how it goes i'm excited because it's a big thing so uh hopefully i mean it goes well 
and we'll see where it goes but anyways guys i hope you guys are safe and i hope you guys stay strong and stand brave and we'll see you guys again soon and again subscribe to our channel and thank you for those that have subscribed i know it's a small number but hey it's a start and thank you for those that are joining our group it's great to see you guys i love seeing you guys and he's reading about your stories or whatever you guys want to tell me and uh, or give me advice with but guys thank you so much i hope to see you guys soon i gotta get this thing going because it's already half the day is already gone so all right you guys stay blessed bye